What's up everybody? It's Chris back with another vlog today. So I just finished processing some photos for a time lapse that I did last night with the drone. And while I was doing that was the most scary incident I've had with the drone so far. But before we get into that, I really need to take a shower and then we're gonna go to Taco Bell and get some breakfast. So Alright, let's go Taco Bell. Hey, how's it going? I'll just do the um, breakfast country uh, combo steak. That should be it. So thank you. This is a tiny crunch wrap. So, what is this business about the drone? Quick recap of yesterday, headed downtown to do a photo shoot with my friend Bethany. After that, we all decided that we wanted ice cream, so we went up to Sonic, and I brought the drone with me because I wanted to start experimenting with doing drone lapses. So I had all three batteries with me, all of them charged up. Each one lasts about 25 minutes in flight. Uh, excuse me. I have them order a small chocolate milkshake for me. Finest quality, great taste, it's awesome. I start doing these time lapses. I figure I do one time lapse per battery, it'd be nice 25 minute time lapses, you get a lot of action happening. Be enough time to see the sun go down, get some of that type of stuff. First one, great. Second one, great. Third one, by far the one out of the three that looks the best. But as the drone hit 30% battery and gave me the low battery warning, I start to bring it in. Let me give you a reference of where me and the drone are at this point. My nephews are about to come in. You got an owie? What'd yes, you do? They all want to show you their owies. I got owies. Anyways, back to the drone story. So, my friends and I were over here. And the drone actually wasn't there yet, obviously, because it took the picture you're looking at right now. But from where that picture is taken, it starts beeping at me, 30% low battery, bring the drone in. Bring it down! Bring it down! Bring it down! And so that's exactly what I do. I stop the auto picture timer, I cancel the point of interest route, and I just start flying it straight forward. So I notice that it's going really slow, the battery percentage is dropping really fast, and it's also not going where I'm telling it to go. It's going in the general direction, but it keeps deviating like something is just wrong. So it gets down to 20%, and it's like, this is critical. You're telling me things I've never heard before, like you really need to get your stuff together and land this drone. <laughs> But no, I'm like, I'm trying to land this thing. At this point, I'm just looking at it and seeing if there's a clear spot where I can take it down immediately. And I'm trying to land it in the mall parking lot across the street because the mall's closed, there's nobody there. And it's just not going down. It's just like, like hovering and like twisting and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I just run across the street when it's like, I didn't get run over, obviously. And I'm literally like, dear Jesus, let me get this drone. Like, help me land this thing, Lord. So then I look down and I realize that it's been trying to return to home this whole time and that's why it's been fighting me. I took off about 30 feet from where we were in this grass area right here. But it's also a, such a low battery that it's been losing altitude and it, it actually was gonna die in midair and just fall into that intersection. Cause I'm like freaking out like, like when I crossed the street, I ran over and I was like on the sidewalk next to it and it's like 15 feet above me and I still can't do anything about it. But yeah, I looked down and I saw that it was on the return to home flight, which for those of you who aren't drone pilots, it will automatically once the battery reaches a certain level or if you tell it to return to where it took off or wherever you set the home point But anyways, all I did was I canceled the return to home flight and flew it over to me and landed it so yeah But like I said, it's all worth it because this is what I got out of it